Bright signs on our highways urge people to plan ahead. That's exactly what Red Cross volunteers are doing. They're checking vehicles to make sure that they've got gas. They're checking supplies to make sure that uh, we have comfort kits and things for people who might be put out of their home. In Hampton, DPW Director Jennifer Hale says the concerns here on the seacoast are possible blizzard conditions, strong winds affecting visibility and even the possibility of flooding. It always adds to the storm when we have um, the higher tides. The last few days our guys have been going around trying to get the drains cleared from the previous storm and I feel like well, we can't even get that all done before the next storm is uh, hitting up. So unless the drains are cleared, we can't get the water to go down. As DPW crews rest up, Red Cross volunteers are on standby, prepared for the possibility of power outages that could call for their services. We work with the state and we uh, work with them to see if we if additional sheltering needs to open. In Rochester, a warming shelter is now open 24 hours at the National Guard Armory on Brock Street. It's for anybody who needs it. They've been serving upwards of 50 people thanks to the partnership with the city, police, fire, and everyone who has stepped in to help, including businesses who have donated. And the big thing right now is keeping the volunteers, keeping enough volunteers here to keep it staffed, which we've had a great outpouring from the community for that. Now those DPW trucks are inside garages tonight saying staying dry and warm so that they'll be ready to hit the roads in the morning. We're live in Hampton tonight. Siobhan Lopez, WMUR News 9.